Jeez, I guess we need to apologize to Mike because it seems like once this problem starts, it just gets out of hand quickly. So, yeah, I'm accumulating a whole pile of used rubbers and not in a fun way. Welcome back! If you haven't seen my videos before, I'm Ross the Oliver Man. That's Buddy the Dog. And today, I've been working on putting the tractor display and implements away. And so we're going to make some stuff more better along our way. And one of the things was the drill having a flat tire. So, I got another tire out. And I was going to mount it on there. And then I thought the rim was too rusty. And then I thought the hub should be painted whilst it was off. So that's where we are. I think this will do just fine. And I'll probably go ahead and just mount it, the rim on there and then mount the tire on. Uh, yeah, because the drill will hold it solid for me to work. I probably, well, I don't know what I'm going to do with you yet because the GoPro still has a broken mount on this camera. So I'm gonna have to get creative on how to make this where you can actually see stuff that's going on. Uh, but I'll come up with something. Okay, you're very precarious and balanced. I don't know how long you'll sit there, but cool. drill is another project I'd like to take back up to the field and try. I have no idea how much effort that will take. Looks like some seed tubes probably at the very least. We need to put a hydraulic cylinder on it and see how bad it really is. No, this is not the best paint job, but I was mainly just after trying to make sure it was smooth. I sanded that rim down pretty good, and so that's what we're after here. Also, I'm short on paint. So that was the other factor in this. Sure. Alright. Tiger paw. Where did I put my tire? There it is. Alright. Can you see? I don't know. If not, look at my leg. It's pretty nice. I about got myself in the sack on that one. Oh. Sure. Oh, now? Uh-oh. Throw it on your foot. Gee. Not having the best go at this. Come on, get on that. There. Phew. All right. Oh, okay. Oh, I need a... Well, no, maybe I don't. 
Do I need a bushing on this one? No. It's perfect. Okay. Supposed to be a tube that will fit a 14 or a 50, and this tire is a 14. So we just gotta get this job. Come on. We're getting it. It's just been a process. I'm doing this the most difficult way possible. See, it's much easier to rotate this and stuff the tube in. Isn't it amazing how I can lose stuff? I lost that tire spoon again, and I'm sure you're looking right at it. You probably see it, and I don't now. How could this be? So I'll get up, and then that's when I'll find it. Remember, and light it up there. We're going to make sure we don't... Make sure we don't grab our tube and pinch it in there, because that would be a sad day. Don't want that. Come on. Come on. We're just not doing good here. Come on. Come on. Yeah. I'm putting a lot of faith in the handyman jack here. That it's not going to crush me, I guess. There. Sure. All oh, right. Wow, you're still recording and you haven't fallen over. That's sweet. Let's try this. See if this will go. You made it almost to the end before I threw you to the ground. All right, I think we probably should put a little air in that tire and then it'll explode. That's how that goes. And then I had another idea, which I will explain in a second. But let's get this done first. These rims are rusty. I would say that the fertilizer attachment on this drill was used and that is probably why it's in such rusty shape. But like I said, it still exists. And that's the most important part. Now the telephone's ringing. So I'm sure we'll have to sort that out first. All right, phone call answered. 
that is about tomorrow is the 4-H tractor contest so I had to be there for that but uh yeah so my next thought was this grass cedar is full of stuff trash you might call it so we're going to sweep it out and then I've got that bucket of used oil I'm thinking about pouring that in here and maybe letting it soak and maybe there will be a chance of this turning again at some point in its future. I guess we'll have to use this attachment. Looks pretty rough in there. that's much more better down in there it has a wooden bottom and I'm not sure I'm sure that that's kind of rotten but well, we're gonna try it anyway uh, I got a question about the little vacuum and where you could get it or where I get tools I get them from all over local stores or whatever uh, I added all of the stuff like I use this and different things are in my Amazon store, which there's a link in the description. You can click there if you're interested in these tools. And then I get like, you know, a buck or something. I mean, it's not much commission, but if you buy from the store, I do get a little bit. So all the tools you see me use should be in there. All right, let's pull down there to this oil bucket. I'm gonna pour that in there and then we can get this out of the way. having a lot of trouble here getting my fat self off of this Ugh. I'm thinking just letting her rip it might run out but it's pretty rough so I'm thinking that maybe it will at least soak the uh, little meters or whatever's in there i've never really had the grass cedar apart on a drill i messed with it i think the parts drill i have of the 64 drill has a grass cedar uh anyway flying creatures no no actually no this does not look too awful bad they must have cleaned it up before the the last go round. So it actually might turn. I mean, it needs vacuumed out as well. We can do that another another go round. But yeah, that's the old fertilizer buggy though. She's getting pretty rough. not really turning in there we might have to disassemble that part and figure out what we can do the inside of this really well it is kind of I can see daylight through there but 
I've seen worse. Like, I'm surprised that it's this good. There's a piece of rubber hose. I don't know what this line, how it got in there. That's pretty rusty, but we'll try someday maybe to take that loose and see if we can't improve upon the situation, at least to preserve it. Because I think this is a pretty nice drill overall. I mean, like I said, I've I've seen worse. It's just a lot of stuff that's going to need freed up on the fertilizer side. I mean, not that we would ever use the fertilizer anymore, but uh, yeah. We'll put a cylinder on here one day and let this down and see if it doesn't start planting again. It's got the same kind of clutch like uh, the planters do, you know, half and half and goes together. So yeah, if that would work, then we'd have to figure out how we change our speed on this one because I have no idea on this drill. I'll have to get the book out. I'm sure I have a book in my collection of books, but I'm not really sure. I'm not seeing, you know, how are you going to change speeds? I see one flat chain and a counter shaft and some gears right there but I'm not really sure what what takes place here so those little seed cups are kind of kind of rough there's one that's rotted out so I'm gonna have to find some more of those I guess but we don't have to use this soon it just you know would be neat so we'll figure that out but I'm not sure on the rate I'm gonna have to have to look that up because I'm really kind of kind of puzzled here. Mesh 24 2 side of H5196 double gear with feed shaft gear. Lower it mesh 12 2 side of H1596 double shaft double gear with feed shaft gear. This acreage counter reads to an accuracy of one tenth. Huh. interesting i guess you just more or less you open the uh dang it some kind of bug bit me you just open the the gate to increase the sewing rate hmm. interesting i guess that's the devil no that wouldn't be the devil gear huh Or we change this. Maybe that's what you change. Flip flop those two. And this would be your seed gate, just like the uh, Great Plains drill is, kind of, on the grass cedar side, and you slide it in and out. Ooh. That's where we'll probably meet some resistance. I bet you that thing is locked up pretty good. I might be wrong, but. We'll play with that another day. I got something else I want to do right now. All right, next on our agenda, people have been wanting a crop tour, so I figure we could drive over and look at some stuff. And let's take old granddaddy's tractor here, if I can get it started. That'll be a good test to see if it's really decided to become reliable. I used it the other day as you probably saw on the uh, grain auger and if not i'll put that clip in here well i don't have the gopro with me but i figured maybe you wanted to see some footage of this running doing an actual job for the first time in years around here i piddled with it raked hay with it one time but it never did run reliably so the other day when we got it uh, fired up again, it seems like it's finally doing what it's supposed to be. So I'm going to keep using it and try to keep that up so that it's uh, actually a usable tractor. But yeah, I'm not a deer fan, but I am a this one because 
it's only been in my family. My great grandpa bought it new from the hardware store and then uh, grandpa started farming with it. And so, yeah, I wanna finish fixing it up and I might even take it to the fair this year, however far I get with it. I mean, we'll see, but yeah, it's popping right along and it's running smooth. That's pretty sweet. What we're doing is, I left a little bit of corn in the bin. Wasn't enough to fill the truck. And Dad needs some corn to feed his chickens and stuff over there. So we're putting it on a wagon so he can take it over in his barn and doesn't have to keep coming here a shovel full at a time. So that way the bin's cleaned out and, you know, he's got corn right there where he needs it. So. That was a good job for this to finally have something to do. Here. And it seemed to do fine. So Maybe after all these years, I finally got the demons worked out of this thing. But we'll find out here in just a second because, yeah, it was always hard to start. And I'm still not convinced that I have the carburetor set right. You gotta choke it, I know that, every time. See, I, I don't know the trick yet. Come on. working minus a camera mount so hopefully the footage isn't too shaky let me shift into road gear here Not a good idea. Kind of 
like this probably isn't a good idea, but we'll do it anyway. Take her through the mud. the carburetor too much yesterday and when it sits there at an idle it kind of floods itself out when you open it up it wants to miss out real bad but this is a lot this is back about where I had it before that and it seems to be doing good so we'll run it like that
said the 31st of May. Probably should use the not road gear. Sure, nothing like running down the crop. I hadn't done that because it's not going to want to start. off. cannot make the corner and I don't know if I should go ahead or let him try to get out of his predicament
he does make it, I'm going to be impressed. good stand but there's places in it where it's uh, gotten too wet now which is so odd because when it went in it was super duper dry and now we've just gotten so much rain that the low places you can tell are hurting so yeah but overall this is a pretty good stand of corn I mean I think about every seed came up just whatever's happened to it since then it maybe been the best, but looks pretty good. said I'm gonna keep using it to do different things just to keep it running but uh, yeah we made it Let's shut her down it's interesting when you see these old tractors I mean got to think about it one at one time this was the envy of the neighborhood you know the brand new tractor and probably the biggest tractor that 
anybody had around in that area and now it's almost just like a toy i mean things have changed so much but yeah how about that anyway if you like the video give it a thumbs up it's supposed to help the channel leave a comment as always tell me what you want to see what you don't want to see some of you probably don't want to see the two-cylinder tractor but some of you did so yeah it made it in a few videos so anyway as always thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one